Hey everyone, Sean here for theworldcupnow.com, giving you Game Week 7's Barclays Premier League tips, and this week's subject is going to be focusing on Luis Suarez and Daniel Sturridge. And who should you pick? Should you have both? Should you have one? Should you have none? So I'm just going to go through that, and then uh, I'll flip over and we'll go through some of the fixtures. I do want to keep this video short because I could go on and on and on about these two, but I just want to have a short video for you guys this week to help you guys out. Uh, keep in mind too, if you have transfers or you have a free transfer such as myself, don't be shy to just hold for it and save it so that way you can have a double transfer for when you return from International Week. So that way you can take advantage of some of the price rises. You can see who's going to um, who's going to be you know rising. That way you can have a good team value and et cetera, et cetera. You can see that in my other videos. So getting to it, uh, Serge and Suarez. You can't really look at them first without understanding the midfield behind them. A big change uh, that allowed Sturridge to have a little bit more quality was Coutinho. And he's actually out right now and still going to be out probably until after the international break. Even though uh, Rodgers has been a little bit optimistic about when he's going to return. So we'll keep an eye out on that. But what that has allowed is that um, it's allowed Moses to come in and just kind of vary the play a little bit. You know, you do have Sterling, who's a little bit youthful, a little bit fast, but he tends to be a little bit exuberant and try to, uh, I'm not going to say be too showy, but I'm, you know, he may be trying to take things a little bit too far when he should be passing it off and getting chances and realizing that, uh, you know, his time will come, but he needs to be that mid player. Coutinho comes back, however, it's going to raise some questions with Sturgeon Suarez. Just because who is he going to feed it to? Who is he going to favor? Uh, obviously, you're going to go for, you know, chances. Whoever's got the best chance, whoever's in the box. And I'll get into that a little bit too. But, uh, you know, Coutinho is going to be a big part of this. So you want to keep an eye out for when he comes back. Now, he's not back, so we're going to focus in on why uh, you'd want to have either one of Sturge or Suarez. And, uh, good, I didn't get cut off. You know, you do have Gerard to a lesser extent, Enrique, the way the formation has been lately, and Henderson. You know, but those guys are not really going to be contending with uh, with assists. You shouldn't really be looking at them for points. Really, you should be focusing on Suarez and Sturge, and to a lesser extent, once... Um, once uh, Coutinho gets back, you want to maybe take a look at him. Now, looking at Sturridge, uh, it's, he's had an excellent run. Uh, again, I think he got his most point haul last game week with a goal and two assists. But that was kind of overshadowed because it was Luis Suarez's first return back since you know the incident, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, and he got two goals, you know, on his on his first game back, which is pretty commendable for such a long break and then coming back into action. The effect of Suarez coming back on Sturridge is that he's not going to be on the ball as much. Uh, he's going to have less time with the ball and he's going to see less chances in the box. Uh, Suarez tends to be a little bit of a hog, but that's not going to say that he isn't going to pass off if there's a, you know, a straight opportunity for a goal. Um, you know, and when comparing the two, Sturge is obviously cheaper, so that can free up some capital for other players, your midfields, defenders, whichever you you know want to, or however you see fit. The advantage to kind of having Sturge is that he does have the goal threat. He can still score, but he also has the additional outlet of Suarez, and that was seen in the last game with two assists. So two assists and a goal, that's a pretty good point haul. Now. You know, even if he gets two assists, that's still good. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how that affects in the bonus point systems in terms of chances created, but it'll be good. And um, one thing with Suarez being back to Sturge's detriment is that he's going to have less touches in the box. Now, basically everything that I'm saying with Sturge can be applied to Suarez. Now, Suarez, you're not the disadvantage is you're not he's not very conscientious with the ball. 
He's, you're not going to find Suarez getting two assists, three assists in a game. Suarez is a striker. He's a finisher. That's what he's going to do, and that's what he's paid to do. So that's understandable. So he will get goals. You've seen that. Last week he had a brace. He's going to have a lot more touches inside the box, whether it's from crosses or just small short little chips from Sturridge. And he's going to have a lot more possession within the box, which means that uh, he's going to have a lot more opportunities to score, go score goals. Pardon me. So looking at last week's game, seven he had seven shots, and four of those came from inside the box. So those are really good scoring chances. If you think about it, that's four attempts on goal, two goals, 50% conversion rate. There's probably more that you want to put into that, but that's just a simple stat that's just running through the head right off the top. Didn't really look into that too much, just in terms of how many shots he had inside of the box compared to Sturridge. But it's definitely something you want to consider. Now, which one should you own? It depends on who you have in your front line. I think if you have, and the typical setup right now is a Giroud Rooney or a Giroud Lukaku, and then one of these two guys. Um, if it were me, and it is me, and in my terms, you can look at my team, I've posted it in the link, but I would go with Sturridge because I feel he's going to have more opportunities for bonus points because he's going to have a combination of assists and goals, which means he's going to have more passes, attempts that will be completed, which will add to his bonus point total, and he'll have the assist and bonus points, the bonus points that you get when you get a goal and assist. Now, Suarez. Uh, he's a performer, you know, like I, I think it's still a little too early in my opinion, uh, just after one game back, you know, like a big splash, a brace, that's great, but, you know, um, he is probably going to be a little bit more healthier, like, you know, in, pre in seasons previous, uh, he's had healthier seasons than compared to Sturge, so that's an advantage for him. You just got to think that you're just looking for goals with Suarez. So, depends on what you're looking for on your team. Now, would you want both? I would say if you're going to do that, do that for this week only. Simply because it's an easy fixture, and then you can swap one out over the international break. But having two continuing on for the season, you're your money's probably spent better elsewhere. You know, if you're going to have both of them and you have a Rooney, I would probably go for a Lukaku out of one of those two because I think Lukaku is going to be very good this season. And um, I think having two would be overkill going past or beyond the international break. So I'm just going to switch over and we'll get into some of the fixtures, what I think is going to happen, and we'll go from there. All right. Just switching over, as I said, I just wanted to take a look at Game Week 7's fixture and quickly run through them for you. First game to start off the weekend with City and Everton, I think is going to be a great game. Everton are really strong right now, they look very good, and City is a little bit ailing in the defensive area. So, I don't expect there to be a clean sheet. I think Everton will probably give them a run for their money. Now looking at Cardiff, Newcastle, I think that will probably be a high scoring game, probably like 2-2. Maybe a tie between the two of them. Fulham and Stoke typically is a low scoring game, so I would expect maybe a 1 0 victory. Hull and Aston Villa, it's going to be interesting. Both teams are doing very well, so that one will be hard to call. May go for Villa, but I could see this being a tie. Liverpool, Crystal Palace, these are the obvious ones. Sunderland, Man U. Uh, Chelsea Norwich, yeah, they're still they're all three of them are kind of easy pickings really. So if you're gonna wager, but you don't mind uh, you know small payouts, then you can take some of those. Southampton Swansea, that's gonna be a good game. I'm gonna be watching Swansea because they're gonna have a good fixture run after the international break and with uh, Hernandez coming back. So I'm gonna keep them on my watch list. Spurs West Ham and uh, Arsenal West Brom. Pretty good games. It'll be interesting to see what the scores are, just because historically they're not that uh, that big. But because it wasn't, you know, a low-scoring game last season, doesn't mean it's going to be like that this season. So, just want to say thank you for watching. I know it's uh, a little bit longer. We're probably getting upwards of 10 minutes. Hopefully, this helped. I appreciate your comments. And again, good luck, and I will see you next game.